Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Sunday that 31,000 of his country's troops had lost their lives in the two past in the two years of the war. Now that shoots down Russia's estimate of 150 to 300,000 dead Ukrainian soldiers. Yi Singjie reports. Saturday marked two years since Russia's invasion of Ukraine began the war that's still very much ongoing. The brutal war has led to the death of many civilians, but the Ukrainian government had not released an official figure on the number of soldiers killed in action. However, on Sunday, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky held a press conference in Kyiv and said that a total of 31,000 of the country's soldiers had been killed in the war. He slammed lies by Russian President Vladimir Putin and his government that some 150 to 300,000 Ukrainian soldiers died on the battlefield. Still, the Ukrainian leader said that each death is a huge loss to the country. Both Ukraine and Russia have kept the scale of their military's troop losses confidential to prevent enemies from using the death toll for propaganda purposes. So far, major foreign media outlets have only been estimating the number of military deaths by citing internal sources. The 31,000 military deaths announced by President Zelensky is significantly lower than the figure claimed by Russia and the amount of Ukrainian troop losses estimated by the West. UK-based newspaper The Economist last November reported that American officials estimated that 70,000 Ukrainian soldiers were killed in action, while 120,000 were injured. The New York Times reported last August that Russian military casualties had reached 300,000, while Ukrainian military casualties reached approximately 200,000. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shogu claimed last month that Ukraine lost 215,000 troops in just 2023 alone. During Sunday's press briefing, Zelensky further called for Western support and urged U.S. Congress to pass an additional budget for Ukraine. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.